When people talk about television, there's generally a skew toward prestige TV. We discuss the achievements of Breaking Bad, Lost, and Orange is the New Black. We marvel at the talent of Sterling K. Brown and Elizabeth Moss. And deservedly so, those shows and actors are incredible, and they've entertained many of us for hours on end with their high concepts and thoughtfulness. But there's another brand of TV that can be easy to overlook, what I call junk food TV. In this comparison, those prestige shows are your nice dinners out. They are prepared with care by professionals. This junk food TV is what you reach for when you just need something easy and fast and delicious. For me, it's MTV's The Challenge. I've watched it for years. I know the running resentments and the simmering drama. I enjoy the athletic challenges, the backstabbing of the votes. It's pure entertainment. For others, this is a role that is held by Riverdale, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, or heck, even Family Feud. Lately, my wife has come home and decompressed from hectic days by watching Nailed It on Netflix. Nailed It is a show where home bakers try imitating complicated recipes from professionals who make those decadent desserts look easy. The home bakers typically fail spectacularly, and then everyone has fun laughing and commiserating with each other. It's fun, it's light, it's enjoyable. Not every day can be a day where we feel up to the emotional weight of watching an episode of The Handmaid's Tale or The Leftovers. Sometimes we need to relax by flipping on the challenge and watching 30-somethings try to race across platforms 20 feet over water and then vote their friends into elimination challenges. That's just the way it is. Junk food TV rarely wins awards or gets celebrated, but sometimes it can be what allows us to relax on a Tuesday night. And that is worth appreciating. I'm Evan Ruffin.